Have you ever wondered how a distributorless ignition system works? Why there is a coil plug and what is the relationship with the ECU? Well, in this video, we will be talking about the system of how it works with all the related components so that we would understand how the spark plug gets fired. Alright, so let's get it on. First of all, we wanted to understand what is the function of this system. Well, the main function of this system is to manage timing and spark delivery precisely to the engine without the need of a distributor. The one that we usually see in an older engine. Okay, now let's get familiar with the main components of the system and what do they do. Alright, so number one, we have the camshaft position sensor. Now this sensor will track the position of the camshaft to help determine the intake or exhaust stroke of each cylinder. This way, the sensor will help to confirm the ECU which cylinder is ready to be fired. The location of this component is usually located on the cylinder head of the engine. Alright, number two, we have the crankshaft position sensor. Now this sensor will help to monitor the position and rotational speed of the crankshaft providing the ECU information data so that the ECU would know which cylinder is at the correct position in the engine cycle to allow accurate spark timing. The sensor is usually located at near the bottom front of the cylinder block which is close to the transmission bell housing or within the timing cover depending on the car manufacturer. Okay, number three, we have the ECU or the engine control unit. Now, this is the brain of the engine management system, okay? This component will process signals from the sensors and calculate the correct ignition timing and spark delivery. Okay, so the next thing is we have the ignition coil. Now, these components are responsible for generating high voltage that is sent to the spark plug to ignite the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder. There are two types of coil, the single coil and the coil on plug. The coil on plug is where a single coil fires only one spark plug per cylinder, whereas the single coil, which also we call as a waste spark, this system usually uses a one single coil to fire up to two spark plug at the same time. Okay, number five, we have the spark plug. Alright, now we all know what is this, right? It is the main component to receive the high voltage electrical charge from the ignition coil to create a spark to ignite the air fuel mixture in the engine cylinder. Alright, and last but not least, we have the wiring harness. This is a wire that connects all the electrical components of the system, transmitting power and data signals between the electrical components such as the ECU, sensors, coil, and all the sparks plug. Alright, now we know all of their roles and function of each of the main components. Now let's get to know of how they work all together. Alright, now it all starts with the crankshaft position sensor. The sensor will track of how fast and where the crankshaft is turning. This information is sent to the engine control unit or the ECU which then decides when each cylinder needs a spark. Sometimes the camshaft position sensor is also used to give the ECU more information about the engine's timing like which cylinder is ready to be fired. Okay, now once the ECU has all the information, it then sends a signal to the ignition coils which then create a high voltage spark usually around 12,000 to 45,000 volt. Alright, in many systems, each cylinder has its own coil on plug. So, so the spark goes directly to the spark plug when it's needed. The spark plug then creates the spark that ignites the fuel and air inside the cylinder to start the engine's power cycle. If the system uses a wasted spark setup, the spark plug fire at the same time, one during the power stroke and one during the exhaust stroke. And finally, all these parts are connected by wiring harness, which lets them send signals to each other. Alright, there you go. You have got it all covered on how a distributorless ignition system work. I hope that you have a little bit of understanding of how the distribution ignition system works. 
So don't forget to like and share this video and comment if this explanation helped your understanding or maybe needed an improvement. And I hope that you enjoy this video, alright? I see you in the next video. Peace.